Hi, my name is Shri McPherson and I'm 14 years old. When I was three, I was diagnosed with Wilms tumor, which is a type of cancer in the kidneys and lungs. I was in treatment for nine months, going through chemo, radiation, and surgery. I don't remember much because I was so young, but I do remember it being a long and confusing journey with many ups and downs. I remember I was pretty upset because I didn't get to go home very much and I wasn't allowed outside. But it was also kind of nice because like a lot of family came to visit and I had a lot of people close to me. My name's Sheila McPherson and Cherie is my daughter. Cherie is now 13 years of age, almost 14 and when she was two and a half, almost three years old, she was diagnosed with uh, kidney cancer, a form of kidney cancer called Wilms. I learned how important it is to ask for help or because many people will say, what can I do to help? And I remember saying, oh, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine because you're not thinking about what you need. But when I look back at it now, I think about all the, the things that I should have said. You know, I could really use somebody to help me fill out the paperwork associated with getting a reimbursement for prescriptions. Um, because at that time, the paperwork seemed like this massive mountain that I, there was no way. I was, I was trying to focus on staying sane, on trying to stay healthy. And so all this paperwork doing with filling out prescriptions and everything like that um, just it sort of got shoved into a pile. And now if I, if, if I were to give advice to anybody, it would be to know when to ask for help. And if I were giving advice to people who want to know what to do to help somebody, who is going through cancer or struggling, um, I would say offer very concrete, practical things. Don't ask what you can do to help. Say, can I bring over a food, a meal for you? Or can I take care of shoveling your walk? Or can I come in and water your plants? Or do you need somebody to take care of doing the paperwork associated with getting your prescriptions reimbursed? Um, all of that stuff seems like a bit of a mountain when you're dealing with, with cancer. Um, your focus is so much on, on beating cancer, on being an advocate, on, on dealing with professionals. Um, the rest of the stuff goes by the wayside. It doesn't matter if snow builds up. It doesn't matter if your plants die. It doesn't matter if you never get reimbursed for the, the thousands of dollars of prescriptions. Um, it just seems so irrelevant in, in the context of the bigger battle, and yet it's got to go on. I mean, you, you've got you've to have those things done. What we learned is how amazing people are, how many people will come to your aid and will support you. We were supposed to come home for Christmas, and it's the first time we've been home since the day she was diagnosed, um, because we had left so suddenly. We were supposed to come home for Christmas for a couple of weeks, and that ended up getting pushed, pushed back. And so as we, Sheree needed to undergo another set of exploratory surgeries, and uh, some chemo interfered with that, so it got later and later in December until we were going to get back. and. My biggest worry at that time about coming back and about the timing of coming back was I remember sort of bursting into tears and saying, well, we won't have time to put up a Christmas tree. We're getting home so late. Um, we won't have any time to put up a Christmas tree. Well, friends of ours just took over and decorated our house. So when we arrived, we had a beautiful tree that uh, people had done for us. And our house was decorated, so we didn't have to worry about having to put on Christmas for our kid. I've been trying to put my positive attitude back into life while participating in stuff like Girl Space, Me to We, gymnastics, and guitar. So Girl Space is an organization put on by the YWCA for girls to go to. It's a safe environment. and. We do a lot of like social activism stuff. We volunteer at places, we host rallies, and 
we do a lot of cool stuff and it's just a nice positive vibe you get when you walk in the room. And Me to We is another thing I really like doing. It's actually with my old school and it's a group that we formed that does everything in their willpower to make some sort of difference in this world. So we've done stuff locally, like volunteer at the Avon Center and have food drives or Zumbathons. And then we've done stuff globally, like get school supplies for kids in Africa and sponsor children. And we're raising money right now to build a school. So I find it's really good to just put your energy into stuff like that. And then most importantly, I have led this group called the Rainbow Laudettes, which is a group of mostly youth who, whose number one mission is to raise awareness about cancer. So we do stuff like Relay for Life, Terry Fox Run, and any other opportunities we have. Based on my experiences, if you or someone you love is going through a similar situation, my message to you would be to not shut out the world and let people around you who love you be there for you when you need them. They don't have to be there all the time, but just like in those moments where you're feeling sad and lonely, just let the people you love in.